Well, that just made up for all the pie. No more kids will suffer to the pie. Then again, now a lot of kids will probably die to the flower. Oh. What's better, dying to the flower or becoming a pie? The flower! <laughs> I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can back can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. You said that already. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it, <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. <laughs> There's a camera hidden in the bushes. We'll get the camera, break the camera. I'm scared. It's a stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Oh. Well, shit. Who was that? I saw you! What the fuck? Come, come on out! I fucked Toriel up. I fucked up the pie maker. I'll fuck you up. Hi. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. You must. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Oh, wait, you're friendly. Turn around and shake my hand. Is this? <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. <laughs> it's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Oh my gosh, it literally is conveniently shaped. Sup, bro. You know what? Sup, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Um, maybe this lamp will help you. <laughs> Sans, shut up! I'm literally behind here where you told me to hide. Sans, you not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. Ooh, I used to boondoggle as a kid. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. I hate it here. <laughs> oh, 
But I did. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Ah, why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> Thanks. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I, I messed up his voice now. Actually, hey! Hate to bother ya, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Snow Drake! I'ma fuck it up! Fishing pole. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end of is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. But I want to call! So, as I was saying about Undyne. You okay over there? Sans. Oh my god, is that a human? Oh, actually, I think that's a rock. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god. Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm gonna help be so popular! Oh my god, I'm a nut! <clears throat> Compose myself. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the captain. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for ya. Absolutely no moving. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. I pet him. What I've been pet? Pet, pet, pot, pet. Says something pet me, something that is a movie. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hey. Here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Lesser dog. Uh-oh. Doggo. Oh, you dick. Kill the dog. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Hi. Oh, ho! The human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans! 
What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold this, please. Okay, now try. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved this so easily. Too easily. It's like he's got hacks. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. That's disgusting. Keeps calling it his battle body. Oh. Man, isn't my brother cool? Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. <laughs> what? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Honestly, word searches are easier, so... You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. How do you solve a horoscope? Oh, these guys look fun. Jerry is annoying. Ouch. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Doggy assault you. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? It's back there for you. Really? Wowee, you resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. My brother started a sock collection recently. How sad of him. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> human? Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Wow, you solved it, and you did it all without my help. Incredible, I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. I might even be too easy for you. <laughs> Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch... <coughs> <laughs> and I gotta get a drink. 
Before Papyrus chokes on himself, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? No. Brown tiles? Wait, there are no brown tiles. Purple tiles? Wait. Wait! Did I mix up green and blue? The blue ones are water ones. Pink tiles? I don't remember. Wait! Those ones don't do anything. Okay, do you understand better now? Even less. Okay, you know what? How about you just do this puzzle on your own? I'll leave the instructions, just read them, then when you understand it, you can throw the switch and do it at your own pace. Good luck! Yeah! <laughs> Wait! Wait, I didn't even have to do that puzzle. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh god. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. My throat will also give out in a moment. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest change of victory, or chance, excuse me, I don't know how to read, will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes! Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Excuse me, voice is given out, and I'm burping. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Death, death comes for me. This is the end for me. Oh, Papyrus, it's time. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. <laughs> and also to have your throat give out on you halfway through the sentences. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Yeah, my throat is really... <laughs> Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. Hi, the great papyrus will be your... Wait for it. 
Pause for effect? No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human! I must capture you! Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus for you. The newest member of the Royal Guard. What? 13? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Oh no! That humility! It reminds me of myself. You're meeting all my standards. Let's date later after I capture you. Oh my gosh, I literally have one HP. You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Hora Sans calls it our garage. You're in the doghouse now! <laughs> Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nifly yours. Papyrus. Time to murder. Behold my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Well, it's clear. You can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. You've got a coin right here, okay? I'm gonna flip it. Heads, I murder. Tails, I save. Ready? Yo ho ho! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? What should I say? Okay, since I spared him, he's a loser. Huh? Why, why would you berate yourself so loudly? Is it because you don't think you're good enough to be my friend? No, you're great. I'll be your friend. Well, we, we haven't even had our first date. That's, that's not what friends are. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all under- <laughs> That's the magical seal that kills us all. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then yes, monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, uh, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Welcome to the underground.